Hello, and welcome back to an episode of All the Mods. I am very sick of bee farming. I have been bee farming for, let's see, uh, I believe a collective of 20 hours. So yeah, done with this. I don't want to do any more bee farming, I'm done with this. Luckily, I don't have to do any more bee farming, because after those 20 hours, as you can see, as I hover all of these, or hover over all of these, I now have all the Imperials I need, and I am now producing Royal Jelly. This took way longer than I thought it would. But, we are finally here, we're collecting all of it. I wonder how much I have so far, that one had six in it. So altogether we have 23 Royal Jelly. That is, I believe, enough, yeah, that's enough to make 11 seeds if I wanted to. Don't know if I'd have the Inferium for that, but we're gonna try. So in case you don't remember, the reason I needed Royal Jelly was so that I could make a certain thing down here. I don't even remember what it was. Let's see, I was trying to make Uranium Seeds, which means I need a Tier 5 Crafting Seed, which needed Growth Essence, that was the problem. So in an Empower, I needed two different types of Fertilizer, Royal Jelly, Fluxed Phytogrow, and Mana Powder. Um, I believe I already got the two kinds of fertilizer. Yep, I got plenty of it. Then to make the fluxed phytogrow, how do you do that? Uh, you just infuse rich phytogrow with fluxed phytogrow, or with energy, not fluxed phytogrow, which is uh, salt things, charcoal, rich slag, bunch of different things. But I don't think it matters because I'm pretty sure I already have some. Yes, I do. Or wait, no, that's regular Phytogrow. To get Flux Phytogrow, I need Rich Phytogrow. What is the difference? Oh, for this I need Rich Slag instead of Regular Slag. And to get that, I need to do a bunch more things. Yay! So hopefully, if I put this here, this here, and this here... Oh, that gives me 16 per recipe! Okay, yeah, never mind, I don't need to worry about this at all. I was worrying that I wouldn't have near enough, but this is not going to be an issue, and that's already making rich Fido grow very quickly. So let's go ahead and take one of these, let's put that there, then next we can put fertilizer there, put other fertilizer there, uh, what was the other ingredient? Mana powder, I forgot to make that. Let's go grab some gunpowder real quick, and just toss all this into a mana pool. Hopefully I have enough mana to actually do this. Yes, I do. So we can put that there. Next we put royal jelly in the middle, and that should infuse. How does this work? Oh, it needs to be two blocks away, not just one block away. That's my problem. Ah, but I only have two more enhanced things. That's a problem. I need literally one more cable. Wait, unless I can somehow mess around with things. Yeah, I can plug it into there instead. And that will save me a cable, which I can then put there. And now this is all getting power. Perfect. So let's try this again. Let's put the Flux Phytogrow there. Put the Mana Powder there. Put the Fertilizer there. And then put the udl, or other fertil, udl fertilizer, put the other fertilizer, whoa! Okay, it's doing stuff. It is empowering. I don't actually know how long this is going to take. Oh, never mind, it just did it. Okay, so we have one growth essence. We need like six of this, I think. So this is going to take quite a while, so we'll be back in a few minutes. So, we've got the growth essence. And we've also got a ridiculously full backpack of things I'm probably never going to use again. So what do I need to do next? If I go to the Uranium Seeds, go to Tier 5 Crafting Seeds, the only thing I need left is the Supremium Essence. How do I make that? I need an Infusion Crystal. A Master Infusion Crystal is actually surprisingly easy to make. Okay, so I might make one of those first, and then I'll start making all this stuff. But before I do that, I need to make a regular infusion crystal. So I'm going to need approximately six, well, not six, eight prosperity shards. Do I have any prosperity shards? I know I can find prosperity ore, but might as well check through all my chests first. Nope, I do not have a single one. So let's go ahead and head straight into the nether. 
Finally, yes, I found some Nether Prosperity Ore. That took way longer than I anticipated. So please give me a lot. Alright, 12, that should be good enough. I'm going to look around a little bit longer just to see if I can maybe find a little bit more. But that's all that I believe I need. So after that long, long nether dig, we now have 16 prosperity shards. So how do I make the infusion thing again? A master infusion crystal is just supremium essence, and then I believe the regular infusion crystal is the same thing but with inferium. Yes it is, that is easy enough. So let's head over to the farmhouse. I made a small inferium farm down here. That... Did I leave this off? I did. I did leave it off. Okay. Well, this is going to be laggy the second that it farms. Any second now? Hello? Oh, oh never mind. That was lag free. So how much did that give us? That gave us quite a bit of Inferium. So over time, I've stored up quite a few blocks of Inferium Essence. That should be plenty for me to be able to make this stuff. So if I put four of these in the corners, put that in the middle, and then surround that like so, we then get an infusion crystal that has 250 uses left. So if I then get just a bunch of this stuff, I believe it's four of these per thing. Ah, you have to infuse it one at a time unless you have a master infusion crystal. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, well, that's why we got the extra prosperity shards. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need an extra infusion crystal for this. Luckily, I only need four. Oh, I am throwing stuff all over the place. Head back home real quick, make this premium thing. I believe this has unlimited durability as well, so that's nice. And now we can turn the whole blocks into things, which means there's no point in me using individual essence. Or even having this infusion crystal. I guess I'll just throw this somewhere up here. Probably never going to use it. That actually gave me quite a few more than I expected. I now have seven blocks of supremium essence, which gives me 63 supremium. So now we have the tier 4, then to make the tier 5, it was those there, those there, okay. Let's put that like so, those along there. Now we have tier 5 crafting seeds. So then from there, all we need is refined uranium, which I actually didn't think about. I need to actually have some uranium so I can refine it. Please tell me I have some uranium ore somewhere. Uh, I have one uranium ore. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Well, back into the mines again. We're on to the final steps. Just gonna smelt this up. Well, it's already smelted up. Just gonna pour it out. Now, go into here. Put these in the middle. Put those all around. And I should be able to surround this around like so. Does that make... Yes! I now have uranium seeds. That took... So long. If I just go through all of the steps that it took to make these. Uh, let's see, we needed the empowerer, we needed the bees, we needed... Well, actually, I think that's it. Oh wait, no, we also needed the farm thing over there that I needed to make so that I could get fertilizer. So, there's a few steps. They're pretty big steps, but there's only a few. But we now have the uranium seeds, the things we've wanted forever. I'm going to put those with my reactor stuff. And I have a couple extra refined uranium that I can throw into, where is it, the, there we go, isotope separator. So now that we have all of this, we really have nothing left to do except to build this nuclear reactor. So let's make a basement real quick. Actually, this is probably going to take me a while, so give me a minute. And there we go. We now have a little area for our basement. I'm probably going to keep my night vision on because it's really dark down here. So now let's grab some of our blocks. I'm probably going to want to put the coolant in last. Now I believe I have everything, but that's probably not going to end up being true, let's be honest. Usually when I say I have everything I need, I end up needing something else. So I'm just not going to say anything. In fact, I'm going to say I probably don't have everything I need. But we're going to put stuff down anyway. So we need to build few 3x3 three three areas on the walls, as well as one down on the floor, and one on the ceiling. And it's going to be easiest to do this if I do it from the beginning, so let's put this facing this way, and it's already time to put in the coolant. Okay, let's see if I can do this without messing it up. Put 
quartz. Uh, where did I have it? I need quartz here and here. I can put water coolers there and there, put diamonds there, 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 and there. And that should be a stable uh, coolant figuration. Emphasis on the word should, I have no idea if that's actually going to function. So then just pick some random block like this one. We can put the, uh, is it the reactor port? No, the reactor controller. So if that's the reactor port, that'll go there. Reactor controller, I'll put over here. You know what I forgot? I forgot to grab a lever. And I also forgot to make any of the fuel, that's important. I should probably bring the isotope separator with me. But first, let's see. Am I going to get, like, radiation poisoning from holding this? Oh? Hey, I'm not! Okay. Some mods give you radiation poisoning if you touch radioactive stuff. So I believe to make the actual fuel, I just need to do this. And I have a few extra of that. Put those there. Surround that, like so. And that gives me fuel. There we go. So if I put that lever there, and I set the fuel inside, it should not be overheating. In fact, it's generating power. Perfect. It's only making 640 RF per tick, which is a lot less than I was hoping for, probably because of the different kind of fuel I was making. But we now officially have a functional nuclear reactor as well as seeds to grow stuff, which I don't remember where I put. I put them here. Probably gonna have to set up a little farm so that I can grow these and harvest them. But I think that is going to be where I end this episode. So I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll continue, now that we have power, to make more of the rocketry stuff and hopefully keep moving on our way into space. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.